changed. I need a quick word. Ah, are you trying to get into the city? Got a minute to tell me about your experience at the gate today? I'm Lens, roving reporter for the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. My editor sent me to cover the drama out here at the gate. He wants some fluff piece about the heroic steel watch keeping the mob at bay, whether or not that's the truth or not. We are, and I am. It's my editor who seems to have forgotten. Mr. Needle's gotten pally with that Lord Gortash. Suddenly can't sing his praises highly enough. Seems like everything we write needs Gortash's approval. Can't recognize my own work by the time they're done editing. Oh, they know some of it. Most would rather bury their heads in the sand anyway. Saves them the bother of feeling responsible. I'll try and get the truth across. Who knows? Maybe a line or two will meet Mr. Needle's approval. I won't be holding my breath. God, I think. I heard he's a good Sorry, man. can't talk. I'm on a deadline. Please, if you could just... We have the Duke's it's full front support page material. for the good of the people. Our... Take it somewhere else. My hands are full. Fascinating. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? My good lady, I am Will Ravenguard. I will not pay to enter my own city. Ravenguard? Ugh, more like the ghastliest tiefling south of Neverwinter. No refugees. It is decreed. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? I'm doing the questioning here. Last time. Name? Well met, citizen. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. I am a steel watcher, citizen. Here to serve the people of Baldur's Gate in the name of Lord Enver Gortash. State your business. Uh-huh. Eyes open, body still. Behind the Watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever-alert, scrying eyes, it has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die.
Your peaceful surrender has been noted. You will be transferred to Worms Rock Prison, where you will await further sentencing. What are you doing? We cannot defeat the brain without that stone. Keep a blade close. Step lightly. Never a dull moment. Seems simple enough. How, Malapert? Must thou stare at so? The enchantment is clearly the work of an advanced caster. The body may have wasted away, but the mind that inhabited it is imprinted on the skull. hides within me. I am merely a skull, nay more and nay less. I call myself Marvin. Thou mayst do the same. Unfortunate, nay ineluctable, perchance evitable to be confined in such immuring quarters. Thou wisheth to escape the confines of this prison, doth thou not? I can hopest thee for the cost of two riddles. Answer me true, and I shall teleport thee to safety. Answer me false, and I shall teleport thee near the guards. As cursy as the traveling lamp in the summer sky. <sighs> Such is mine own will. Once I did occupy this very prison after a night of most bacchanalian debauchery. I possessed the spirit of a Gleeka and the art of a wizard. The merriment laid before thee is born of trifling jest, wizardry, and whiskey. We beginneth to delight. I fly, yet not through the firmament. I bidst and biddeth and bidst a farewell at night and welcome thee in the morn. I am part of thee and follow whither thou guideth. I am clothed and cladded all in black and flee the light. Yet apart, I wouldst be naught. Name me. Marvelous deduction, a shadow for sooth, and a non riddle the second. I am battered, but never did bar. 
Mine coronet bears the blunt of endless blades, but I can never move. I never did sweat, even when the summertide sun didst fully heateth mine brow. Name me. Forsooth, thou hast maketh me most fastian. Is't thy will to forsake this decrepit cell? latest hooch. I have something to ask. This guard has no interest in speaking to a criminal. Here goes nothing. Mutatis mutandis! Let's go. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal.
Still alive, so that's progress. At least things have stayed interesting. I've no more riddles. Thou didst answereth so wise. Tis doneth. The guard prepares to attack. Fugitives are to be killed on sight. Two steps at a time.
need to act fast. Nothing. Well,
heading there. to get going. Have to keep going. See what this does. It's over. You might as well lock the cell. You're too late. It's over. The steel watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me, dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk, empty as a stair, a tadpole's puppet, nothing more. He spoke in accusations, apostasy, conspiracy, sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. You might have unlocked my cell, but there's no escape from this place. When the people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Alder's words, I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. Lead me from my cell. Escort me out of Worms Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Well done. Lead the way. Let's get going. I should speak up. What do you want? I don't need to escape. I've got food, water, privacy, and I mean to keep it that way. 
for Boulder and S Time to press ahead. More for me. What's in here? Watch your back. There. What to do? These boots have seen everything. See. The guard is fast asleep. Bathed in a ten day. Eat all the onions. Three balls of this do. Lord Gortash has been expecting your arrival. Please hold a moment. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guest, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorne. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city.
Of course, of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. And now Gortash invites Please us to see make your him. way to the audience oh, chamber. Please stop picks the eye. He was even out. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. Now's not the time for wandering. You can explore once I'm out of Worm's Rock. I don't know, dear. I don't know. My friend means to say is that the witness is to sin. The house was on fire. You've been seeing the flames. Lord Bell under Gortash's charms without them casting an area spell. Please make your way to the audience. Well, most people are idiots, Will. You could lure them into a dragon's more if you promised bags. Tools, all shapes, all sizes, all Lord, right. this is far enough. The way should be clear. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. It's the least we could do. Your faith in this city should inspire us all. I will travel to the upper city, find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. This is my promise.
Gortash is expecting Lord you. Gortash is expecting Please make your way to the audience chamber. Bring at my door the very next morning. <laughs> Up there, Dantelon's dancing axe. The harper's safe house to hear a mention. Yes, but they were which in the inventor. I want to have a word. You have got to check out Dantelon's dancing axe. Their leather work is amazing. I'd love to chat, but I've got a suit to find. Who knew buying something so simple would take the bones of a day? Me, we're discussing steel watcher gyronetics, a topic beyond your understanding, I imagine. 
Are you still watch a fan too? If so, we meet here every day to discuss their mechanics. My mate got thrown by a steel watcher. Lucky bugger. The trajectory was perfection. Calms, calms. Uh, as if any of us would be so fortunate. Hello? Imagine seeing a watcher Hi! power up for the Over first here! time. Me! My heart flutters at the thought. Put him up! Put him up! Yay! You spoke to me! Nobody ever talks to me! My name's Narber, adventurer to be, soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be... What do you think? Can I be a fighter? Right you are! I'll just find something to punch, I guess? It won't hurt, will it? No, surely not. Oh, hi, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Calm's Garms. I'm Calm. Well, Calm Men. <laughs> what can I do you for? Ugh. If it's empty patty you want, get your clothes from a brother, Figaro. But if it's genuine quality and genuine taste you're after, Calm's Garms as you covered. You wouldn't either, if you knew him like I did. Since Dad died, he thinks he's cock of the bloody walk, that I should give up my shop and work for family business. For him, <laughs> dick. Maybe you should keep your nose out of where it doesn't bloody belong. Now, you want clothes or not? Sounds good. Get you something a bit fresher than your current outfit. Remember, Calm's Garms, here for all your fashion needs. Or maybe that will be too much? Too much.
Shopping for a suit. Dinner with my parents, remember? This armor was such a bargain. We can't return it. Sausies! Rossies! High class, In a word. Fruit, vegetables, what can I do you for? You're hungry. Wherever we meet, we can get in Worms Crossing. If you're here to shop, just buy what's needed, all right? Some people are panic buying. Let's not add to the problem. Everyone acting so normal. The Absolute armies are coming. We need to stock up. Butter. Oh, honey. Everyone is Why are some people so strange about Charesse's caress? It's just sex. Oh, we're not queuing for Charesse's caress. Not yet, anyway. Head on in. People are just walking into Charesse's caress like it was any old business. No disrespect to you, of course, if you're a patron. Look, Charesse's caress isn't just about Charesse Caress. I'm starting to remember that Worms Crossing has a bit of a reputation, doesn't it? Exactly. Tad mercenary, tad sordid. Anything and anyone for a price. Nah, but a little harm. Shouldn't we all be allowed to stoke a few fires from time to time? You sound like you're speaking from experience, Will. Perhaps you'll have to give me a tour, refresh my memory. I don't mind it. The missus and I have been dreaming about the city. No more sleeping rough. Didn't expect to find it locked down tighter than a watcher's fist. Looking for lodgings? Don't bother. All the decent places are gone. Damned coronation. Welcome to Charesse's Caress, where our libations and sensual indulgences restore even the weariest souls. Old, we have everything you crave. here featuring Roll the Despoiler, the highest kicks in Baldur's Gate guaranteed.
Look at me. You need only think of me. Well, another case closed, another bottle open. A zart of a leery <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine! If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? <laughs> my assistant. She's posted in the Lower City investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now, back to it. What have you found? Gods. Stelmane is... dead. That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? No. I want proof. If someone else killed Logan, I want you to tell me why they did it. Come back when you've got some real evidence. bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine Fingers. It's a name you know. Nine Fingers is the head of the guild, a criminal organization operating inside Baldur's Gate. Seems everyone's got business with her. Heard the gal met her match. The new kingpin? All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new... Hold on. Hey! You still lurking about? I don't remember inviting you to the party. Look, this subject's not safe. You selling your services, beat feet to the guild hall. Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guild Hall. And that's all you're getting from me. Now, Scrum! The chat's officially closed. Wait, wait, she wants to be rid of that drone. <laughs> Isn't right. Yes, well, on his leash. Hey, <laughs> A weary traveller, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No, decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. 
Oh, yes. I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? Of course you wouldn't. Who can resist the pleasure of the strap? Once leather meets flesh. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Wishing. I'm no fortune teller. If I had a crystal ball, I promise I'd already have consulted it. Truth is, Fionn's gone well missing. And my hands may be skillful, but they were not made to turn every last stone she might be hiding behind. To service is my calling, not to be served. Ugh. But I'd be a fool to say no. The girl kept my coffers near overflowing. Two flights up, then turn right and right again. That's Fionn's pleasure room, Elminster's library. Here, take the key. I'm listening. Nisha, our lovely nymph. But she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. Indeed he did. Raphael, exceedingly handsome, and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. Pizza, I mean, my own. a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. Charesse Caress, the Mamsel's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, but the new hooch is off limits. Can't have the mams all leaping down my throat if I go burning yours. Pleasure to serve. I mean, don't know about that, chum. Hoots Hooch packs a stronger wallet than all ten of my knuckles. Could beef you up. Sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. Damn! The gal knows what she wants. First one's on the house. So, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. Have a look. 
set, are you? Sorry. 